name is Christine Cunanan and I'm the publisher of Travel Life Magazine, the Philippines' leading travel and lifestyle publication. As you know, we're on a boat, a ship, or an airplane practically every week, discovering some of the most amazing destinations in the world. And this week, we're going to show you an amazing destination right in our own backyard. I'm talking about Coron in Palawan. Now, Coron is in the northernmost part of Palawan on the island of Busuanga. Unofficially, it's one of the top three destinations within Palawan. The first is probably Puerto Princesa, the second is El Nido, and the third is Coron. Now, I would love to have gone to Coron myself because I simply adore Palawan. I think it's one of the most beautiful places on earth and it's really a slice of heaven. Unfortunately, I had to be somewhere else again. So I asked our associate editor at Travel Life magazine, Carlo Velasco, to go and fly to Palawan and to see Coron. So I'm finally here in Coron on the island of Basuanga in Palawan, the last frontier of the Philippines. Immediately, look at that. That welcomed me. Our home away from home in Coron is the Asian Grand View Hotel. It's got the most amazing view of the Coron Bay. I've got so many things to do. I just can't wait for my Corona adventure. So we're here at the foot of the entrance to Mount Tapias, the highest peak in Corona. Look at that. I have to climb 700 steps to reach the top. Let's go. Barely halfway, but the views are really spectacular. Woo! All right, just need to catch my breath. We're still at the 200 step, and we've got 500 more to go. Finally, after 700 steps, we're here at the top of Mount Tapias. Behind me is a crucifix to remember the Second World War. It's my lucky day. Look what I caught. Double rainbows. Look at that. After 700 steps to the top, you can see a breathtaking panoramic view of Caron's Bay. Look at that. The long, long trekking was definitely worthwhile. Busuanga Island is located in the Philippines' last ecological frontier. It is the largest in the Kalamian group in the province of Palawan. Amazing, isn't it? We're here at Makinit Hot Spring. Now what's interesting about this hot spring is that it's the only salt water hot spring in Southeast Asia. There are only four of them in the world.
The spring's name actually came from the Tagalog word mainit, which means hot. Having a temperature of 40 degrees Celsius, the water from Makinit Hot Springs is relaxing and invigorating. Took up our first night in the amazing Quran. We went straight to our home for the weekend, the Asian Grand View, and enjoyed some good old music with Quran's top local band. What a night indeed. So we're here to find out more about the local life. And here with me is Al Nsangan of Tribu Kalamianan. Al, tell me more about life here in Koron. Life in Koron is very simple. Mm -hmm. In a sense na you can still feel yung, uh, yung culture, mm -hmm. yung local practices. Uh, dahil yung Koron is a very small town. Um, at yung mga tao magkakakilala. Yung buhay dito, uh, napaka-slow pace pa. So, napaslow pace dahil may, siyempre, makukompare natin sa mga highly ur urbanized na lugar. Diba? Parang ang bilis ng oras. Dito, napakabagal pa. So, uh, yung band namin is, uh, actually, this is an advocacy project namin. Hindi namin to main na uh, profession. Libangan ng, uh, ng mga local artist to. So, um, ang naging preference namin is um, uh, yung uh, mag magbigay kami ng <clears throat> na bigyan namin ng focus yung aming mga local music which is kasi na-realize namin na wawala na siya. So, ang ginawa namin, uh, nag-immerse kami sa mga mga indigenous cultural communities na ang purpose nun is to save yung mga last music o yung mga maabutan pa namin ng mga music, rhythms or verses or uh, songs and dances kahit ano uh, at least mag, 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 magkaroon kami ng time na, na ma-document ito and that just shows how people of Quran treasure their their traditions and culture and customs now, let's hear some more music, shall we? Okay. Right. Thank you. Such a memorable first day here in Koron and ending it with a glass of wine, just chilling, listening to some good local music by Tribo Calamian. And I can't wait. I'm looking forward to another great adventure. I've been to many places, but this is by far the best. Now, Koron is a nature lover's paradise. There's just so much to do. A favorite activity is island hopping. Basically, you can have breakfast in one beautiful island, have lunch in another beautiful island, and then have dinner in another beautiful island. And if you're still up for it, you can have drinks in the middle as well in two other beautiful islands. That's how many places there are to explore, and most of them are white sand beaches without people, and with just amazing scenery. Another big attraction of Koron are the limestone cliffs, which are just out of this world. A lot of people take boats and they just sail along, gaze at the marvelous scenery, and enjoy themselves. All right, I'm excited. Here's the best part of the trip. We're going island hopping. And you need to ride a tricycle to get to the top. So this is how you go around town. As you can see, they've got their own style for their tricycle. It's got a bigger space, it's got two sides, one in front, one in the back. Swag. It's so much fun to take or travel on a tricycle when in Quran. You can breathe fresh air, 
so much different from the air in the city. You can feel the heat piercing through your skin. So we're here at Nolhabi Park waiting for our boat ride. Let's go. So I'm armed with a very stylish mosquito repellent and some portable hat. It's gonna be a very hot day. Yeah. What's so amazing about sitting in front of the boat is that you can actually feel bits of water touching your skin. It's so refreshing. Look at that view and the water. This is so magical. God. Speechless. God. <laughs> I've been to many places, but this is by far the best. And you can find it in Coron, only in Coron. Just look at those mountains and clear blue water. So a lot of tourists and locals bring their boats here, they dock them, and do some picnic and party. Nice. Now that's travel life. Kayangan Lake. Whew. So we gotta climb around 150 steps. Wow, that's go back. So We're just a few steps away from Kayangan Lake and we'll see what people are raving about. Finally here. Gorgeous green water. What a view. Just look at that. My best tip, never forget your camera. Look at this side of Kayana. Definitely one of the best kept secrets of Palau. Wow. Ready for a splash. Kayangan Lake is the cleanest lake in the Philippines. It's made up of 70% fresh water and 30% salt water. Wow, look at this. So clear. This is travel life. Everywhere you want to be. Welcome to paradise. Karon, this is where you eat lunch. So we're here now at Atuayan Beach. We're gonna have some picnic. Yum. So the best way to enjoy lunch in Karon is to have some picnic in huts like these. Bring along some fresh fruits and some fresh produce from the island. Okay. 
So I just had the best meal of the day. Typical Philippine food. Living like an islander. Grilled food, fresh fruits. And now, we're off to Twin Lagoon, our next stop. See what's out there. Yeah. Welcome to paradise. Here. Twin Lagoon is made up of two salt water lakes. It sometimes gets really deep in some parts. That's why it's best to keep your vest on for safety. Before heading back to Peron Town, we made a stop at Smith's Beach. We're waiting for the sunset. I think it's gonna be awesome. After the twin we just shouted all our inhibitions, all our wishes to the mountains. Wow, it felt so good. There really is something about the atmosphere in, here in Coron. Something magical about it. Now 
love is a piece of Africa in Karachi. Wow. We had a three-hour road trip from the hotel to New Kalawit and now we're riding the boat to Kalawit Island. It's just around 20 minutes to get to Kalawit Island. Now what to expect in Kalawit? It's a national park where rangers take care of jungle animals such as giraffe, zebras and, and deer. Now, Koron really has that natural vibe. It's so unique. It's, it's a mix of tropical island life and uh, jungle, jungle and forest. Nice. Wow. You can sit here while waiting for the boat. But of course, we don't have to do that. Our ride is here. Here at Kalawi Safari Park, and they say they've got some interesting wildlife inside. Let's start an adventure. This is a piece of Africa in Kalawa. Wow, so we're feeding Miley, Jerry, Athena, who's this one? Uh, Jim Kirk. Jim Kirk. They all got names here in Kalawa Safari Park. In Kalawa Island lies the game preserve and wildlife sanctuary. Here you can spot giraffes, zebras, impalas, water box living in harmony along with several endemic Philippine animals like the mouse deer. Not only in Africa. Amazing. All right, I got the best seat in this ride. We're riding top load on our way to the safari. Kalawit Safari Park currently has 41 zebras and 21 giraffes and each year the number increases the famous zebra stripes So it's my last day in Koron and I just decided to hit the pool and chill out. It's been a 
memorable and adventure trip in Koron. The highlight of the trip would have to be the island hopping, the most amazing islands in pure white sands and lagoons that I've seen. I can safely say that Koron is one of the most enchanting places I've ever been to. This is Carlo Velasco for Travel Life everywhere you want to be. See you in our next trip. We've tried to show you as much as we could about the beautiful destination of Koron in 30 minutes of our Travel Life TV show. If you want to go there, it's very easy. It's an hour's flight to Boswanga from Manila and to Koron itself, it's another hour more or less in the van. So beautiful, so near, and so highly recommended by us at Travel Life Magazine. This is Christine Kunana for Travel Life Magazine, everywhere you want to be.